Brittany. Today I'm going to be taking you through a painting inspired by the artwork of the play The Magic Kite by Jose Cruz Gonzalez. So first things first, we need our supplies. Um, you need something to put your paint on. I have a painter's palette, but probably it's easier if you use like a paper plate or something that you have laying around the house that you can put your paint on. And then of course you'll need brushes. I have a few different ones here, but really it's up to you. You can use one brush for the whole thing. You can use a bunch of different brushes, whatever, whatever you want. And then I have my ghost mug full of water for me to rinse my brushes off. And then after you rinse your brushes, you're going to need to wipe them on something. So I have a little napkin here for that. And then of course you'll need your paints. I'm using acrylic paint, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can use whatever kind of paints you have if you have some. And then you'll need something to paint on. I have a canvas. You can use like just a piece of paper, anything that you want to paint um, that you can paint on. <laughs> don't want to get anything. Don't want to paint on anything you're not allowed to. Um, and then I have a sheet here because I don't want to get my carpet dirty. So yeah, those are the things you need and let's get started. Uh, so uh, a lot of the artwork has purples and pinks. So I think I'm going to use that for my background. So just pick your favorite purple or pink color, or if you want, use something totally different, like green, I don't know. Totally up to you. I'm gonna use this pink color first. All right, and get your paint. And then for the background, um, a lot of the artwork is kind of super colorful, so I'm gonna use the pink and purples to just kind of take up the whole background in little splotches kind of that I'm going to create. Uh, you can do lines, you can do it however you want really. I'm just going to do little splotches. And then whenever you feel good about it, you can you can be done. I just like to keep going here kind of. Going in diagonals here, my diagonal strokes. Cause I just like the way that looks. Maybe you went horizontally or vertically or swirls. Swirls might look cool. Spin it all around. I'm not gonna do that, but maybe, maybe that's your technique. Maybe you are finger painting and you're just dipping it all up on there. All right. So, so far, this is what I have for my background. Now you're gonna wanna let your background dry because you've mixed all these colors together, but you don't wanna mix the top part together. On the top part, I'm gonna do a kite um, you can create your own kind of kite. I'm going to do a kite like this diamond one. Maybe you're really good at drawing butterflies and you do a butterfly kite. That's up to you, but I'm not good at drawing butterflies. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I'm going to sit here, wait for it to dry. Um, clean off my brush while I wait. That's always a good time to do that. And look at the nice pink shade of my water now. I am gonna go wash my hands while we wait for this to dry because 
I have paint all over them and I don't want to get that anywhere. Um, I'm going to be very careful not to touch anything while I wash my hands. So I'll be right back. it's hard to tell when it's dry but if it looks shiny probably not dry like it's probably dry enough maybe we'll find out that it's not and that might mess things up <laughs> but we're gonna see how it goes all right so for this part I'm going to start with black to make an outline of the kite like I said we're gonna do a kite now so I'm gonna use black So, I have my diamond painted out. It's not great. But it's unique, which is all that matters. I think it's cute. Um, and then I'm also gonna do the lines on a kite. Um, you don't have to, like I said. I'm trying to make these ones a little thinner than the outside edges because I made those a little thicker than I wanted them to be. I could use a different brush, which would probably help them be thinner, but I like this brush. And then I'm gonna draw a little swirly kind of line to make the string that the kites are attached to. We're just going to do a little wee. Like so. And then for mine, I'm going to do it like blocks and do one little triangle here black and this little triangle here black. And then uh, I think I'm going to paint the other ones blue. Um, but you can do whatever you want. So now I'm going to add some decoration. I think for the decorations, I'm going to use orange. Orange is my favorite color, my favorite color. So I'm going to use orange. I think I'm going to use white because that'll be a nice contrast to the black. Okay, don't know where my orange is. So I probably used all of it to be honest. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix see orange used it a lot uh, so I'm just gonna mix yellow and red if you do not know yellow red and blue are the primary colors you can use those three colors to make any color and then you have black and white which you can add you know to lighten or darken a color I don't want my orange to be a little lighter, so I'm going to use less red than yellow. Just a little blob of red. We'll see how that works. For the decorations, I'm just going to put like polka dots or maybe like little V's or something just to make it 
it look kind of pretty. And then um, with the kite to the tail, I'm gonna add like the little triangle things that are on kites. I don't know if those are really on kites. I've never used one before, but I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna use my pinky. And now it says, I'm magic. So there we go.